Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Techie Tars here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing a review on my brand new build, which I, which I made like two days, one day ago, yesterday or something. Um, so as most of you would have noticed, it's a Flak ED8. Um, or well, actually, the proper name is 8.8 .8 centimeter or 88 millimeter Flak 41. So. Um, yeah, so a little bit of history about the 8.8 Flag 41. So, um, in 1939, um, it was kind of obvious that, so, long-term military planners, like, expected increases in aircraft performance. So, they had at the time the, wait, what's it called? Um, Jarat 37, but it was getting outdated. So then they wanted to make something that was both light, effective, and could be used for other things apart from aircraft, um, anti-aircraft uh, facilities, or to, to protect anti-aircraft facilities, is what I mean. So they came up with this, the 8.8 .8 Flag 41. So, uh, the 8.8 .8 Flag 41 is, for example, what you would see, or you would see, a, I think, not this one exactly, let me just get this guy out of here, um, but a kind of a little bit modified version of this on maybe Tiger 1s, because I, I think that if they literally just put this cannon on, it would be too heavy or something, even with the Tiger being strong and all, but, yeah, so, um, Mine is with an AA, AAB or something like that, pod, which means the base is AAB. Don't know what AAB, I think it's AAB, it might be something else. I don't know what it means, but yeah. Um, so you might notice that mine is a little different. That's because this one was meant to be fitted on, well, was meant to be able to fit on anything. So SDK of Z's, for example, the 251 and the 250. Uh, because some of them have cannons, right? Pack 36 and pack 38, but they wanted something a little stronger, you know, um, for, if, so that they could move um, their aircraft fa aircraft faster around the battlefield. So they wanted to put this. Unfortunately, it was never used for that purpose, but it still was used for anti-vehicle and um, anti-aircraft and anti-personnel uses. So anyways... Uh, Actually, these were designed to be able to be taken off quite easily. So let's see if we can do the same with mine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. That actually... Okay. All right. Well, that's nice. So you can see how I'd made mine. And actually, this was just the base for it, guys. So, like, this is the... Everyone says that... Oh, yeah, that's the 88, dude. But actually, this is the 88. This is what it goes on. But this is the 88. So, also, I might make instructions on this as requested by Electric Bricks. Um, mm, The barrel and some parts of it are a little too complicated for those of you guys, for some of you guys. Um, And it might just be, like, a little too hard to put back together and all. But I don't know. I'll see. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, it's really nice, uh, and if I put it back, actually guys, you know what, I just realized that, well, not just, but I realized that this base is very versatile, so I could really use it for anything, even, like, a Flak 36, or whatever, like, the small anti-aircraft gun or something, and, you know, could fit a figure on there, too, so, very nice, very versatile, I like that. So anyways, uh, on the gun is, the, like, the actual gun is probably the most detailed part of this. So, also, it goes up and down. Uh, it's a nice feature. So, and oh yeah, um, another thing is the shield goes up and, well, I like to call this the shield, but this goes up and down too. Which is always nice. Uh, also, I hope the, light, the lighting is good. I got a new lamp. Yeah, it looks good to me. Um, so... You just take a moment to observe that beautiful thing I made. <laughs> and yeah, you can see the uh, three black stripes and two white stripes recognizable to this gun. 
or attributed, whatever you want to say. So, um, you can see there is a thing here for you to put shells in, and I have actually made a couple of shells for this. Pretty resemblance to the real thing. If I can get it. Okay, there we go. So, pretty resemblance to the real thing, uh, in my opinion. So, uh, these would fit, and they would shoot through, obviously. <laughs> So then here there is, you can see the two stabilizers, uh, and then the other stabilizer here, because this was a very powerful gun. Uh, so all the, well, two of the legs, so actually all of them fold up, but realistically only these two would fold up, so they would be able to easily transport them. And actually guys, I'm going to show you what it looks like without the shield on, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so that's what it looks like uh, with uh, the shield, so to speak, taken off. And yeah, it looks really nice even then. Also, you might notice that because the stand on this is different than the usual, like, super long ones also that are on the side, um, the it is a little lower. They designed that, too. Yeah. But yeah, overall, I think I, I'm really happy with the way that turn, it turned out. So I'll just show you compared to a fig what it looks like. There. So, it's 130, um, 9th or 140th scale, however you want. Well, not however you want, but you see what I mean. <laughs> it's either, uh, I would say more 140th, maybe 139th and a half, or something like that. But anyway, guys, so that's it for today, uh, or for this review at least. Expect more videos coming on the mock you can see behind, and other, other things, um, talk about an update and stuff so yeah guys thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video please like it uh feel free to leave a comment don't forget to subscribe to me on youtube and follow me on Flickr. and i've got a special video coming out about subscribers and views and stuff so stay tuned for that but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time have a good one